Hello viewers, this is Imran and in today's video we are going to discuss that how can you find out the charge and coordination number of complexes. Various complexes are given, we are going to find out the coordination number as well as charges. So let's start. The first one is find out the coordination number of copper in this complex. As you can see that this complex have overall negative 2 charge on the coordination sphere. So it means this is complex anion. Now in this complex anion, this copper is a central metal ion while this chloride ion is acting as a ligand. So let's start. As you can see that one copper atom is bonded to four chloride ion. So the coordination number for the copper would be four. It means that the coordination number of central metal ion is four. Now let's find out the charge on this central metal atom that can be find out like this we are going to write that copper plus 4 into chloride ion as you can see that we have 4 chloride ion and as a whole the sphere have negative 2 charge so we will write negative 2 now copper plus as you know, as per the oxidation number rules, chloride have minus 1 charge. Chloride ligand have minus 1 charge. So you will write minus 1 in place of this chloride ligand. And as a whole, that is equal to minus 2. Simply, we are going to multiply this 4 with minus 1. So what we are going to get? We will get minus 4. And that in turn is equal to minus 2. Two. Now we need the condition number for copper. So this minus 4 will move toward the right side. So we can write that we have minus 2 and plus 4. The sign of this minus 4 would be reverse once it moves from left to the right side. So hence we can say that the charge on central metal ion is plus 2. Now the second one is find out the coordination number of iron in this complex. Now what we are going to do first we have to find out the coordination number for iron. So as you can see from the complex that iron atom is bonded with 6 ligands. It means that the coordination number for iron is 6. Now we are going to find out the charge on the iron so we can write 3 into sodium because we have 3 sodium plus we are going to write iron and we have 6 cyanide ion so we are going to write 6 into Cn negative ion remember that cyanide ion have minus 1 charge as a whole this complex is neutral so we are going to write 0 so now sodium belongs to group 1A so it have positive 1 charge so we are going to write positive 1 plus iron and each cyanide ion have minus 1 charge so we are going to write minus 1 in place of cyanide ion and enter it would be equal to 0. Now simply solve it 3 multiply by plus 1 you will get plus 3 and for iron we have to find out the charge so we will write it as it is and then plus 6 once multiply by minus 1 so you will get minus 6 and enter this equation is equal to 0 this minus 6 once move to the other side of equation it would become plus 6 similarly this plus 3 once move toward the other side of equation so it will become minus 3 so after the calculation we will get plus 3. Now this plus 3 is the charge on this central metal atom that is iron. I hope so this video would be helpful for you. Thanks for watching.